The nice thing about doing the, the graphics here is that you can also add a layer style directly to the layer. So if we go to FX down here, uh, we can add a whole range of options. Uh, bring up any one of them and it will just give you access to all of them. So from within the layer style window, you know, there are a number of different options you can use. Here we chose bevel and emboss as our starting point. So I can go in and increase the depth. I could increase the size, though obviously if you go too high, it's just going to, not going to add anything to it. Uh, you can soften it here. You can change the type of bevel. I'm using an inner bevel. An outer bevel is going to look a little bit different. And this is almost the effect of adding a, a drop shadow as well. So uh, you can adjust the size the soften it and change the depth. And here it's, uh, again, it really looks like a drop shadow. You can try a emboss, a pillow emboss. Each one's gonna be slightly different. I think the inner bevel actually is working the best for me here. You can also turn that off and uh, you can add a drop shadow if you would prefer. And again, here you can uh, set the angle. You can set the spread. This is set to something very high. So I'm going to set the angle here. The spread can make much smaller. The size going to make much smaller. And the distance. So you can change the opacity to make it sharp, sharper or softer. And that will give you a drop shadow as well. Uh, you could also add a gradient overlay. In this case, this is very oddly, uh, an odd, very light colored gradient, but you could use it to completely change the nature of the lower third. I'm not recommending any of these gradients. I'm just clicking on them so you can see the options. Uh, black to white, again, to change the way this works. I think it's easier to actually change the gradient fill. Uh, so I'll show you that from there. Um, this is not necessarily the best way to do it. I could add an inner glow. And again, an inner glow that's just going to be uh, like an extra little touch. And it's not necessarily something that you are going to use a lot, but it's there as an option. It just creates this kind of grainy effect on the edges. Inner shadow is also something you can use. Uh, stroke, so if I didn't have a stroke, I could add one here through this. And here you can see I'm just making something super thick. You can choose the position inside, outside. So outside it's actually being added on top of the stroke that's al already there. Center, uh, you have all these different options and you can go in and choose the color. It could be a gradient. Uh, again, it could be a pattern. Pattern's kind of cool. And with the pattern, you have a number of choices. So uh, here we've got dots. This one doesn't work at all. This one doesn't work at all. But the more graphic ones, uh, like this one is fairly nice with the, the strokes. It's a slightly different element to it. I think most of them are not going to work. Uh, lines, not bad. Horizontal lines, not bad. Uh, my personal favorite was probably the dots. And again, you can go in and adjust the size. So you can make it super, super big, super small. And you can adjust the scale of the pattern. So you can do super tiny dots or super big dots. I'm going to turn that off as well. So uh, here I'm just going to add the bevel and emboss. And this can be the inner bevel. Soften it a little bit and do a larger size and increase the depth. So that just provides a little bit of, um, of depth to the, the image. And here you can see the layer effects actually comes in as an extra add-on to the layer itself.